first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so before watching all the 25 question what i have given on the model paper so first try to write the test right so same 25 question what i am going to solve in this video i have given as a model paper test right so 25 question 35 minutes so time management comes only when you keep on practicing more number of practices right so do not forget to write the test first on the railway test package so once after writing the test if you have any doubts on the solution come and watch this video definitely it will be useful for you so first write the test and then watch this video so now let me move on to all the 25 question what i have given on the model paper for je exam so friends now let me move on to the fourth practice set that is model paper for rrb je exam right so already uh, i hope you have taken all the three model tests what we posted earlier every saturday so it's the fourth model paper and fourth model paper pattern is similar to one and two right model paper one and two pattern because uh, simplification will be to one equation five data interpretation and uh, two from algebra one from trigonometry and one from geometry based on a triangle and a circle so one heights and distance so from each and every important topic which for which are important for the railway exams so we have given on the model paper four so first kindly write the test uh, that's that's the thing i'm repeatedly saying it again and again because time management comes only when you practice these kind of questions right so first write the test on the railway package in case if you have any doubts or even though when you look at the solution you can't able to understand it come and watch this video right so now getting into the fourth model paper so first question first and second question i have asked two simplification so i think second simplification is easy but first simplification i found that many students have made a mistake right so just we can solve all the questions here important questions what i have given on model paper four so first question 0 0.8 into 8 division 0 0.88 into square root of 121 is equals to question mark. So always remember that even though if you are a brilliant student, so do not try to cancel a value in case if the values are in a decimal point, right? So some students usually cancel it, 8, 0 0.11, you can. If you are so brilliant, you can. But if you are a beginner or an intermediate student, so first step what you guys have to do is remove all the decimal points. 0 0.8 can be written as 8 by 10 into 8 so division 0 0.88 can be written as 88 divided by 100 square root of 121 will be 11 right so next step 8 divided by 10 multiplication of 8 division convert into multiplication 100 divided by 88 into 11 is equals to question mark so finally they have given a question in form of decimal value so we converted the question without a decimal number so now after converting it you will feel easy to cancel the numbers just see 8 divided by 10 into 8 into 100 by 88 into 11 so now it will be very easy to cancel it 8 times 8 and 8 we can cancel it so similarly 1 tens are 10 10 times so 10 into 8 will be 80 so answer for the first question where question mark is equals to 80 see how easy it is right so always remember that even though the simplification was easy you can in the exams you can able to see these sort of questions 0 0.2 0 0.22 division 0 0.222 is equals to question mark even though the question looks very easy but always remember that if you are going to solve a simplification question that is based on a decimal value so first try to remove the decimal value and then try to solve the simplification you will definitely feel easy or else there is a more and more chance of making a mistake in your exams right so that's the reason i'm saying because you have to solve within 30 seconds so at the so while you are solving it very fastly you there is a chance of making a mistake right so that's the reason i'm saying do not solve the question in case if the values are in decimal point right so second question what i told you is normal addition simplification i don't want to waste your time guys so third question ABC entered into a partnership with the investment of ratio 5 is to 4 is to 6. After one year, A double its investment and C withdraw off of the investment. At the end of the year, the profit earned was 96,000. Find the share of B and C in a profit. 
So after reading a question, we can see it's a partnership based question. So three person in a partnership. So one is A, B and C. So there are three person in a business and all the three persons starting a business because they, they didn't mention that some guys are joining in the middle like that. So all the three persons started a business with the investment of five is to four is to six. That means the first person A investment ratio is 5x. Second person B investment is 4x. And the third person C investment is 6x. Yes, 6x. So all the three person investment. So now what they are doing is the complete business is run for two years, right? Because they have mentioned at the last, you can see, at the end of two years, they earn a profit. That means the complete business is run for 24 months, right? So 12, 12 months. So now what they are saying is after one year, A double the investment. That means for the first year, the investment will be 5x into 12, right? Why I'm multiplying it 12? Because for the first year, 12 months, his investment will be 5x. After one year, the person right plus double the investment already he is investing 5x so now he is investing double the amount that means 10x into 12 so now you can see 12 and 12 total 24 months the business was run for two year and the, for the first year is investment is 5x and for the second year the investment is double that means 10x so friends understood or not so next point so and C withdraw half of the investment so first year where C is investing 6x, after first year he withdraw half of the amount. So when he withdraw half of the amount, so his investment is 6x. When he withdraw half of the amount, the remaining will be 3x into 12. So friends understood how I wrote this, right? So 6x is the initial investment done by the person C for the first year. And after first year, he is withdrawing half of the investment. So the investment is 6x, 6x half will be 3x and we, he will be investing 3x for the next 12 months. So 12 and 12, so total 2 year, 12 and 12, total 2 year and they didn't talk about the person B anywhere else in the question. So we can say that into 24 because he is not withdrawing any money or he is not investing any money in the business. So initial investment is 4x, he will be in the business for complete 24 months. So now. When you take 12 outside from this number, right? And when you take 12 outside and we can cancel 12, 12 here two times. So resultant will be 5x plus 10x. So ratio 8x. So when you cancel 6x plus 3x. So friends understood or not, right? From the first number, first person A, I have taken two outside, 12 outside. And from the last person C, I have taken 12 outside. And here will be 24. So when you cancel the ratio value 12, 12, 2 times 24. So 4x will be 8x. So now 15x. So 8x is to 9x. So cancel x and x and x. So 15 is to 9 is to 8 is to 9. So now our target is to find the share for the person B and C, not for A. So in the question they are asking, find the sum of B and C profit. That means B and C. So B and C, the total ratio will be 17 divided by total. So 15 plus 9 will be 24. So 24 plus 8. So 24, yes, 24 plus 8 will be 32. So into and the total profit what they are getting is 96,000. So we can cancel this on three times, 3,000, 51,000. So from the total profit of 96,000 in a business, the share that was received for B and C will be 17. So that 17 part is equals to 51,000. So total profit received by the person B and C is 51,000. So friends understood or not, right? So answer for this question is 51,000. So partnership always it will be easy, right? I hope you watch the partnership uh, videos on my channel. So partnership plays a major role on many of the railway exams as well as SSC exams. So you can definitely see in question is easy, right? Not so difficult. A basic level question but you have to be very careful so how the person is withdrawing a money and at which month he is withdrawing a money so based upon that we have to multiply the value that's it so practice more number of partnership question in the exams so do not miss it right so now so next question is find the area of a circle whose radius is equals to radius of a cylinder. 
so i think it's a measurement question so if it is a measurement question so measurement is categorized into two part one is a two dimensional and a three dimensional if you are preparing for a railway exams the main category of two dimensional circle square rectangle and a triangle so majorly concentrate on all these two dimensional shapes and in case of three dimensional cone cylinder sphere cube and cuboid so concentrate on all these five Right. So do not learn, first video itself I have told you, right, the formula sheet I have given on the website as well as on a WhatsApp, right, so try to learn all the important formulas. So now getting into the question, find the area of a circle whose radius is equal to area of a cylinder, right. So what there is radius of a cylinder, so what they are saying is our target is to find area of a circle. So area of a circle formula is pi r square. But here, we don't know what is the R value. If we know R value, we can directly find what is the area of the circle. But that radius was not given. Instead, what they have given is the radius of a circle, right? So radius of a circle, which is equals to radius of a cylinder, right? So what is the cylinder formula, right? Cylinder, we have many formulas. But here, you can see having a height of 21 centimeter. So, cylinder height has been given. As well as they have given the volume of the cylinder, 1, 2, 9, 3, 6. So, cylinder height is given. Cylinder volume is given. We know what is the volume of a cylinder. So, volume of a cylinder is equal to same pi r square, right? But we additionally have h. That's it. Which is called as a volume of cylinder. Do not buy a the formula so keep on uh, learn learn the formula with small small techniques right so we know the circle formula which is pi r square when you add height it becomes a cylinder so i'm just adding height here pi r square h resultant will be volume that's it right so these are the easy way without by adding you can learn the formulas so now volume of a cylinder so volume of a cylinder they have given a value 12936 yes is equals to 22 by 7 r square and height what is the height they have given height will be 21 centimeters so we can cancel it three times so cancel it on three table yes we can cancel it on three table four threes are 12 three threes are nine one threes are three two threes are six so now cancel it on two table so 11 times cancel it on two table so two twos are four one twos are two so remaining will be 1, 5 twos are 10, 1, 6 times. So 11, 1, 9 to 6 is equals to R square. So R is equals to 14. So finally, we got the value of R, which is equals to 14. So now we found the radius, right? So after finding the radius, finding the area of the circle will be easy. Why? Because we can directly substitute. They have said both the radius are same. So we can say that pi will be 22 by 7. So radius r square will be 14 into 14. So this will be 2 times. So 22 into 28, 616 centimeter, right? So which will be the answer for this question. So which is the radius area of a circle, right? So easy question, measurements and uh, the two dimensional and three dimensional. Basically, you if you know the formula, solving a question will be very easy. So make sure to learn all the important formulas, what I told you now, right? So five important two, three dimensional and four important two dimensional shapes. So try to learn it. Yes. So next will be heights and distance, right? So heights and distance, the angle of elevation of a ladder leaning against the house so after reading the question the first point itself angle of elevation so if you find angle of elevation or angle of depression so definitely this topic comes under heights and distance so now what they are saying is the angle of elevation of a ladder so let's take the ladder is leaning on the house right so let me take this is an house here so this will be the ladder right so they are saying that it's in the angle of 60 degree at, and foot of the ladder to the house is 6.5 meter. That means house foot and this point where the total distance will be 6.5 meter. And our target is to find what is the length of the ladder. And they have given an angle also. Angle will be 60 degree. 
it. So these are the values they have given in the uh, question. Our target is to find what is the length of the ladder. So we need to find what is the length of the ladder. So while teaching heights and distance and uh, while solving many questions on heights and distance, I have mentioned it one important thing, right? So most of the question in heights and distance, 99% of the question, we always use tan theta formula, right? Tan theta. Why? Because in most of the question, they will ask you to find height of the house or height of the apartment, height of the pillar, height of the lighthouse. Usually in heights and distance, our target is to find this value. But here, in the question, they were asking us to find not the height of the house, right? They are asking us to find what is the length of the ladder. So this value we need to find. If we need to find the length of the ladder using a tan theta, it is not at all possible. Why? Because if you use tan theta, tan theta will be opposite by adjacent. Opposite is what height of the house. We don't know what is the height of the house. And we can't able, we don't want to find that also. Because our target is to find only the value of x. So, while teaching heights and distance, I have told you three important trigonometry. One is tan theta opposite by adjacent. Next is sin theta and the third is cos theta. So, if we have the base value as well as the adjacent value, use a formula cos theta. So, cos theta is equals to 6.5 divided by height will be x. So, cos theta cos 60 degree which will be 1 by 2. So 6.5 divided by x. So x is equals to 13. So that means the total length of the ladder will be 13 meter. All the values are in meter, right? So we can say the length of the ladder will be 13 meter. That's it. Very simple. Right? So friends, understood or not? So make sure to understand the question properly, right? Uh, what the question they are asking. In most of the heights and distance, uh, even it's a difficult question, we use a tan theta. Why? Because in case if they if in the question our target is to find the opposite value right height of the house or a pillar a lighthouse or a pole or a tree height of the tree so these kind of questions usually you can able to see more on heights and distance so in all those cases we always use a formula tan theta but in case if you don't want to find the opposite value if we need to find adjacent or a perpendicular to it so make sure to use cos theta formula you will get the answer either tan theta or cos theta right any one formula to find the value of the answer right so make sure to attend this heights and distance for sure do not miss heights and distance because many students will not solve heights and distance in the exam because they think it is difficult to solve but heights and distance is not at all a difficult topic it's very easy easiest topic right so next will be simplification and sorry and next will be equation so Simultaneous equation. I hope everyone will, uh, will solve this equation. I don't want to waste your time in the video. So next question. So a bag contains two red. So it's a probability question, right? The first video on first or second video while teaching for RRB JE, I have posted a video on probability only because many uh, exams, previous year exams of RRB JE, you can able to see a question that is only on the topic probability. That too from a color balls. So give more importance to this, right? So first, a bag contains two red, so two red, five green and four yellow. So total number of color balls will be five plus four, nine, nine plus two will be 11 balls. So totally we have 11 balls and out of that, our target is to pick four balls and out of four ball, at least three to be yellow. So that means minimum three should be yellow or else all the maximum four can be yellow. That is the meaning of it, right? So they have mentioned a word at least. So at least means minimum to maximum. Out of four balls, minimum three should be yellow. So minimum three can be yellow or else all the four can be yellow. So minimum three can be yellow, right? So how many yellow balls are there? Four yellow. So out of four yellow, minimum three can be yellow. So remaining one can be any other color ball, green or red, right? So one possible or addition maximum four all the four can be yellow so divided by total number of color balls will be 11 c4 so when it's understood or not so i think i have posted many videos on probability two color balls at least at most either or neither nor none 
right all so these are the important words that you need to know how to solve a question on probability that is especially on color balls right so easy questions probability will be so 4c3 will be 4 7c2 will be 7 so 4c1 will be 1 divided by 11c4 so 11 10 9 8 divided by 1 2 3 4 so we can cancel 4 2 are 8 3 so 30 this will be 30 30 into 11 will be 330 so denominator will be 330 numerator 7 4 are 28 plus 1 will be 29 so finally answer for the question is 29 divided by 330 so it will be the answer for the probability question right so see not a difficult one right easy one but in case if you find this question difficult so kindly learn the basics of probability right mostly in the railway exams you will not find that much difficult level question so make sure to know how to solve these kind of questions right it's easy according to me even for many students it's easy so do not uh, think that it's a difficult level question right so next will be what is the question here trigonometry yes so trigonometry question so if cos theta is equals to so cos theta is equals to minus 1 by 2 and the pi less than 0 degree less than 3 pi find the value of 4 tan square theta minus of 3 cosecant square theta so friends listen here while teaching trigonometry i think i have posted trigonometry video on 2016 or 17 i think so four or five lessons right so there initially i have told you some trigonometrical identities trigonometrical ratio and then third or fourth video i have uh, i have solved a question that is based on some value will be given tan theta cos theta for example they will give you some value like this cos theta or sin theta or tan theta based upon it our target is to find what is the answer for the expression just see they have given cos theta value but what is the target our target is to find what is 4 tan square theta minus 3 cosecant square theta so this is the value what we need to find but here they have given cos theta is equals to minus 1 by 2 so in case if you find these kind of questions in your exams right we have solved many questions on it but remember one thing we have to know some of the trigonometrical identity one basic and simple identity is sine square theta so sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 everyone knows it right so now sine square theta is equals to 1 minus cos square theta is yes? And sine theta is equals to square root of 1 minus cos square theta. So now sine theta is equals to square root of 1 minus. We know the cos value which is minus 1 by 2. So minus 1 by 2 the whole square will be minus 1 by 4. Is equals to square root of 3 by 4. So is equals to plus or minus 3 by 2. Which will be the answer for sine theta. So friends now understood. So only in the question they have given a cos theta value. Based upon the cos theta value we found what is the sin theta. Sin theta will be plus or minus root 3 by 2. So now finding tan theta and cosecant theta will be very easy. Why? Because cosecant theta will be a reciprocal of the sin theta. And what about tan theta? So tan theta will be sin theta divided by cos theta which will be tan theta in case if it is a cot theta cos theta by sin theta so now if we know the value of cos theta and sin theta solving the question is very easy but one important thing right very important thing you have to remember in the question here is in the second line they have given one value that is pi less than theta less than 3 pi so why they have given that value right so we have found the sine theta value we have found the cos theta value right we can solve the question but why they have mentioned one small note pi less than theta less than 3 pi because if you take a sine value we are getting one positive one negative because when you take a square root of 4 it is plus or minus 2 so here we are getting sine theta 2 value one is plus root 3 by 2 another is minus root 3 by 2 
So now you will have a confusion that whether I should take a positive value or a negative value. So that's the reason they have given 0 that is pi theta 3 pi. That means when you take a trigonometric quadrant, right? I hope you remember it 0, 90, 180. Uh, this will be 270 and this will be 360 which act as first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. Just look at the value here. So pi will be 180. 3 pi will be more than that. That means this quadrant lies on a third quadrant, right? So they are mentioning that all the values that we are finding it which lies on the third quadrant. In the third quadrant, sin theta will be negative. We have learned the quadrant values, right? So in the third quadrant where sine theta is negative, that means the positive value should not be considered. So now we can take sine theta will be minus 3 by 2. So when understood or not? So that's the reason they have mentioned there pi less than theta less than 3 pi. So in the sine theta we got two value. One is positive and second is negative. So now we can easily get the negative value. So now substitute here sine theta is what minus of root 3 by 2. What about cos theta minus 1 by 2. 2 and 2 minus and minus root 3. So finally for tan theta we can say substitute root 3 the whole square. So friends understood or not. So now we got tan theta value. What about cos theta? So cosecant theta. Cosecant theta is a reciprocal of sin theta. So instead of cosecant substitute 2 by root 3. Reciprocal of this number. That's it. Right. So well, when you substitute all these value and if you square it you will get the answer. So only problem here is you know how to solve till sin theta right you know most of the students would have solved till sin theta and cos theta value but the only problem that many students will face while solving the question is after getting two value they don't know whether i should take a positive or negative so that's the reason they have mentioned which quadrant the value lies so you can see it lies on the third quadrant if it is a third quadrant we have learned all the techniques so all silver tea cups many things here so based upon that we can say sin theta is negative in the third quadrant so we can say we have to consider the negative value so take the negative value for sin theta and find what is tan theta and then cosecant theta will be reciprocal of it and then substitute in a value you will get the answer for sure right so this is the way you have to solve a trigonometry question so be very careful right so trigonometry is easy once you understand the basic identities and the basic concepts right so definitely trigonometry will be easy so i think many students have not solved this trigonometry question because in the uh, report i found many students skipped right they didn't solve it solve this trigonometry itself they have skipped this question but it's okay right it's it's completely your wish but according to me i would say Trigonometry is always one of the easy topic in the uh, sessions, right? Algebra and trigonometry. So next question. Yes. So next question is ABC is an isosceles triangle. So question is based on a triangle. If it is a triangle based question, so I have told you some important properties, right? So basic property, sum of three angles of a triangle should be 180 degree and the external angle should be equals to the internal angle. So any two internal angle and uh, the sides, if you add any two side that should be greater than the third side. Only then we can say it's a triangle. So some properties we have learned on the previous lesson. So now getting into this question, ABC is an isosceles triangle. Triangle. So what is the meaning of isosceles triangle? So you know there are many types of triangles are there right angle triangle, isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle. Uh, if it is an equilateral triangle all the sides will be equal. If it is an isosceles triangle two sides will be equal. Any two sides will be equal. Definitely these two sides will be equal which is called as an isosceles triangle. And then what they have mentioned that AB is equals to AC. So they have told that A, B and A, C both are same. So let, let me fix this as A and this will be B and this will be C. So what they are saying is A, B and A, C both are equal. So that means this distance and this distance will be same. And they have given an angle of B which will be 35 degree. If this angle is 35 degree then this will also be 35 degree. Why? Because if it is an isosceles triangle, if two sides are same then the angle will also be same. Right. If this angle is 35 degree, this will also be 35 degree. So now 
we know that triangle property so 35 35 total is how much 35 and 35 total will be 70 degree so when you add three angles right this angle this angle and this angle total should be 180 degree right so 35 35 will be 70 so this will be 110 degree so friends understood or not so now when you add all the three resultant will be 180 degree so now what is the next line they have given us ad is a median median means a center line to b and c so they are saying this a center line which is a d between b and c which is called as a median so now our target is to find what is the angle of b a d that means our target is to find a angle so when just just listen carefully we know that total angle is how much 110 but our target is to find only this angle right this angle alone this angle is how much 55 degree because we know the total angle is 110 out of 110 we have to find only this triangle because BAD that means BAD this triangle this angle alone so 110 half will be 55 degree so we can say the angle of A will be 55 degree which will be the answer for this question so friends easy or not right so very easy triangle always it seems to be very easy so you don't want to uh, learn that much concepts on a triangle just solving some of the basic level question it's enough right you don't want to keep on solving more number of questions in a triangle but learn some of the important properties right so some of three angles of a triangle just now i have told you what is called as isosceles triangle what is called as equilateral triangle and what is called as a, a triangle which as whether it is a triangle or not right in second model paper i think so we have solved a question like that so now next question if x is equals to it's a uh, algebra question right if x plus 1 by x is equals to 2 where x is a real number so we need to find what is the value of x power 17 x power 19 is so we need to find what is the value of the given expression right but only if we know the value of x we can find this value or else it is not possible just look at the question x plus 1 by x is equals to 2 we can easily simplify it x square plus 1 is equals to 2x so x square minus 2x plus 1 is equals to 0 it's a quadratic equation x minus 1 square is equals to 0 so x is equals to 1 so finally we solved it and we got the value of x is equals to 1 so substitute here 1 power 17 1 power 19 1 power 17 is 1 1 power 19 is 1 answer will be 2 easy question right so answer for this question is 2 it's concerned with the algebra topic and you can see more number of question like this x square or x power 4 x power 4 and here in the question they will give you like 16 16 what is the answer for it so there are some techniques to solve basically and uh, if it is 4 or if it is 3 or if it is 6 for every number uh, there is a technique to solve but in my channel algebra itself i have told you how to solve normally traditional method because you can't able to buy art for every numbers for 6 9 12 if you keep on buy arting uh, technique newly you can't able to solve it in the exams so when you know the normal traditional method you can whatever the number they have given you can able to solve the question here they didn't give you any number it's x power 1 so we can easily frame my equation in case if it is x power 4 if you multiply it it will be x power 16 you can't able to solve it easily so at that scenario you have to use different technique to solve right so uh, next will be i think uh, remaining questions i hope it's a di question basic level a uh, di question so i don't want you guys to uh, waste your time because i think you you will easily solve all the remaining questions just i have seen the report of the test and see these are the questions what i have solved now some students have made a mistake so i just want to explain only those questions so the remaining questions i think every student got the uh, correct answer one or two have made a mistake other than that most of the students got correct on all the remaining questions so friends uh, remember one thing uh, only one month to go i think so december you have an exam so first keep that in mind 
practice should it's definitely must because time management only comes when you practice more number of question just by watching a video uh, by just practicing a question by looking at some pdf file won't help you to solve it fastly in your exams only when you keep on practicing uh, practice questions like when you see a computer and based upon the computer when you uh, solve a question only then you will get a practice right so practice is more and more important so keep on practicing question every saturday we are giving new new test for the railway exam so do not miss any of the test start practicing start writing the test on every saturday and uh, in the railway test package we have given many tests so write the test definitely you can able to get the time management and clearing the exams will be very easy so friends thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share the video to your friends those are preparing for the competitive exams so friends thank you so much bye